you remember how I said yesterday that the weather was very kind to us? Well, she's she's making up for it today, so. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand It's a new year, which means it's time to reflect on all the things we've done and all the things we want to do. And over the past couple days, we've really been focusing on the areas of the property that need a little extra attention. And since we're completely off grid, we heavily rely on our solar setup. Now that we have our batteries switched over to lithium, it's time to improve this mount system and add some more panels. Alrighty, we are back out here. Concrete is set, so we are going to start working on the rest of the mount and getting these panels up there, even though it's cloudy. And like 30 degrees. Yeah, you remember how I said yesterday that the weather was very kind to us. The weather has been very kind to us. So let's get her done. Well, she's she's making up for it today, so. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with how the posts came out too. They, uh, they seem super strong. They seem like they move a lot less than the original posts that we concreted in. So I think it worked a lot better just digging the hole by hand and using the hole itself as a sonnet tube rather than pouring concrete and then trying to compact the dirt back around it. Pretty happy with it. Hey y'all, I wanted to take a quick second to tell you about something that I have been wanting to try for so long and I finally had the pleasure and that is Bright Cellars. And thank you Bright Cellars for sponsoring today's video. I've seen Bright Cellars everywhere and I've actually had a few friends try their curated bottle boxes. So when Bright Cellars reached out, I was very excited. And if you know me, you know that I don't drink simply because I'm just not a fan of the taste. I have not found anything that I like. And Bright Cellars allows me to step out of my comfort zone and try different things. After you take a quick quiz, they'll match it with wines from all over the world curated to your taste palette. And they send this wine directly to you. So you don't have to waste time at the store looking aimlessly trying to figure out what you want, which I have spent so long doing before. Each wine comes with a wine education card that tells you all of the information that you need to know. And your box will improve as you rate your wines. Bright Cellars is giving y'all a limited time offer of $50 off their first four bottle box. All of the information that you need to know, including the link, is going to be located in the description. And thank you again, Bright Cellars, for sponsoring today's video. And if you've tried them, I want to know your experience. Leave it in the comments. Now let's get back to the video. And we wake. While Cody's getting situated, figuring out exactly how he wants to work on the panel framing, I'm going to start working on the basic frame for the mount. Oh, the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. We got everything mocked up on this side to make sure it would fit. We just used a couple brad nails to hold it all together, but we could look at it, make sure everything fits before we actually permanently install everything. After doing a little bit more measuring, we figured out that we can move this entire middle array down so it's touching the end array, and then we'll have enough room to add a whole nother array like this with six panels at the end, plus two additional panels that we have coming in the mail this week. We'll be able to squeeze right in between those. So that way it'll look like just one big continuous thing of solar panels instead of having awkward gaps in it like that. But since we don't have those panels yet, let's go ahead and finish this side and get our new array built, and then we'll worry about that at the end.
And for anybody curious, the white oak that we used for parts of the original framing is holding up perfectly. No cracks, no uh, bad weathering or bugs or anything like that. So definitely happy with that. two by four cross bracing that is within the mount and that's going to be i believe he said well i know it is 63 and a half inches long he told me When we started this entire journey, I was very much out of my comfort zone, but slowly over time, Cody has taught me so much and has really made me comfortable with power tools and other equipment in general. And I love this because it means he's not alone. I can help him with whatever he needs and be his right hand gal. Now Cody's gonna cut all of the cross bracing and we're good to go. Now we're not trusting our brad nailer for any kind of structural support we're strictly using it just to hold our pieces in place so we're able to screw them all in easier I'm making dinner tonight and we're gonna do drumsticks, so we need to make a brine for them to sit in for about 15 minutes. About two tablespoons of salt. Two tablespoons of cornstarch. And about four cups of water. Give it a good little whisk. Just a little bit of Cajun seasoning because why not? I have my chicken in this brine and I'm only doing four just because it's just Cody and I. I'm gonna pop some saran wrap over it and then I'm gonna stick it in the fridge for about 15 minutes to marinate all up. I let it marinate for about 15 minutes and now I'm gonna rub the chicken down before I pop it in the oven. I use brown sugar and then the seasonings. Now let's just get it all rubbed together. And we're gonna bake this for about 25 minutes. We're gonna cut up some potatoes for mash and carrots for a side. To a pot, 
I have some water, chicken broth, butter, and then a little bit of garlic paste. This is gonna be what my potatoes boil in. And then I'm just gonna let these sit and boil until they're tender. For my carrot side, I'm just going to chop these up roughly and then season them, kind of marinate them, and then pop them in the oven. I'm gonna pop this in the oven and grab my chicken. I'm gonna just turn these over and then pop them right back in the oven. For like another 10 to 15 minutes. My chicken's cooked all the way through and now I'm gonna add a sauce that I whipped up just to kind of, I don't know, give it some more flavor. Dinner is served. And then I just have a little bit of leftover cornbread and then some black eyed peas from the other night. I made these little chocolate pudding cups earlier and then I'm just gonna top them with whipped cream. I really don't utilize this as much as I should. It always comes in handy. So we got all the cross bracing finished and then I went ahead and added our door hinges on so that way we can tilt the whole array up just like the rest of them. They're actually pretty heavy duty. They've worked very well on the other ones over there and we haven't had any issues with it. So we figured we'll just keep it all unison. And we're only putting these on hand tight for now because as you can see, a lot of the brackets are gonna be sharing the same mounting holes. So we're just gonna be putting the brackets on hand tight and then we're gonna line all the holes up and add all our screws. And then we'll go back and tighten each bolt. But we just wanna make sure we can get it all lined up before we tighten everything and then risk having to loosen it and move it all around. Now that we have all the panels on the mount, we're gonna go ahead and line them all up and then screw them all down. Now for the last step, let's hook them all together. We're still waiting on more brackets to come in the mail from Amazon, so we have all the panels mounted, but each panel is missing one bracket, so I don't want to tilt it up yet and put any pressure on the panels. We're just going to leave it sitting flat for now, but we do have it all hooked up and it is making power, so we're definitely happy about that. Quick explanation of how our system works. The panels send power to the inverter. The inverter regulates the power. Also, it converts it from DC power to AC power, which is what your household uses. 
charges all the batteries, and then when the sun sets and the panels quit making power, the batteries keep everything running. And then as for the house itself, it's wired just like any other house. As just like a majority of projects, everything is a work in progress. So we still have a bunch more updates for this, but we're happy that we have a third more power. Yeah, and I do still have some uh, extra bracing to add to it. We have two concrete some posts at the end and then right here in the middle. But we pretty much just decided we're gonna change our whole solar mount tomorrow. So we kind of just did the spur of the moment. We didn't really have anything super planned out. We just went to Lowe's and got materials. And we were definitely unprepared with getting like, uh, having enough mounts for the panels and stuff like that. But I'm definitely happy with all the progress we got done with. And we've had a ton of cloudy days recently. This has been one of our very first sunny days. So super happy with that. Super happy that we're able to utilize all of that sun power. And yeah, if you haven't seen our new intro video, go check that out. Like subscribe all the things that help and we'll see you in the next one we are doing a gift exchange with cajun country living and here is their channel somewhere in this vicinity <laughs> um if you want to see what we got them you'll have to head over to their channel and check that out but let's open it because she is heavy she's thick boys and girls she's <laughs> thick so let's do it in this box are things we thought you would want or need also i wrote this note because we recycled this box so if you'd like to see a sweet message from granny rip this paper off love y'all <laughs> this is a mixed up christmas box but that's granny love ya and it has a cute little fan on it oh my goodness that is a lot of cody things. there are so much to cody from jim oh my gosh <laughs> Some camo that shorts. is great. Y'all have matching shorts. I was going to say, isn't this the same ones that he has? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you, Jim. That's hilarious. Something smells. It smells like a candle. Phenomenal. Or something. Yeah, something smells phenomenal in there. Thermal insulated socks. Yes, it is the freaking Arctic out here. I know it is just Missouri, but to oh, this hey. Texas gal, it is the Arctic. Oh, hey, matching socks. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I'm sure you're going to end up taking all of them because you always like the big fuzzy socks. I do. I do. He got some snap on socks from my dad. I stole them. <laughs> Requested by Summer. I think I know what this is. Pepper jelly. Yes. I'm so excited. Good. My mom used to make this dip growing up where it was like cream cheese and then the pepper jelly and then you eat it with like corn chips. Mm, I'm so excited. Oh, you're just gonna open her up right now. Let me see. Yeah, I think that's all you. Ooh, we got some Cajun country swag. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, that's nice. Oh, it's got Cody. a hood on it. That's nice. That is nice. I like that. Oh, it's oh got my a logo. Gosh, it that's says can't so contain cool. us. That is cool. I love it. That's heavy duty too. Oh I like that. Thank you guys. Babe. Oh, and it's on the back. It has our logo on the back. That's so cool. I like how subtle it is too. I know, me too. That's, oh my god, that's super thick. And then we got a koozie, thick. Cajun Country shirt. Oh, oh look at the back of it. Hey, that's mine, thank you. Y'all have the coolest merch. Really do. It Ooh, and a long so sleeve. soft. Lad picked this one out for y'all. Oh my goodness. Lad is my bestie. <laughs> She's my bestie for the recipe. Wanting a gnome. I love gnomes, <laughs> that's so cute. Oh my gosh, thanks How little cool. Lad. Oh, that's so, that's cool. so cute. Two of three. I have three of three. Oh, one of three. One of three. Okay, so one. <laughs> hot cocoa. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. Someone loves her some hot cocoa. I do. Oh, these nice. are nice. Oh, that's going to be oh, great wow. for coffee in the morning. From Lad. Oh, this is what smells good. Mm hmm. Oh, this one's yours. So, thank you. Oh! <laughs> it's fancy fancy soap, my fave. Oh my god, There's is that like... fabric stitched into that the paper. So that is cool. some fancy soap. I'll have the to dog has that. a stitched in sweater. Mm. This one said, Jim's mom made this for y'all. Oh yeah, that's some jelly. Okay. We love us some jelly up in here because we are breakfast people. We eat breakfast every single day. Strawberry. Yeah, that's the stuff. <laughs> You're so cute. Mm, that's gonna be so good. A little bit of Louisiana. <laughs> Crawfish jelly. Oh no! What? I'm gonna have to FaceTime you in a minute so that way you can tell me exactly how I'm supposed to use this because I will give anything a try one time. I'll give it anything a try one time after that. Mm. The peppers need a little something too. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Dog approved. Ooh. Oh, you got one too. Ooh. Number one, again, with the so soft shirts. Like, holy oh, cow. Oh yeah, the Bella canvas. Those are the good shirts. Yeah. Oh my god, that's so cool. That's so cool. For summer from Lydia. Herb growing kit, yes. My girl knows I love to garden. All right, last thing. Oh, oh god. gosh, it oh says, my god. It says, hey y'all, what you have here is the adjustable strap master Hootis Pro. Don't be fooled by its rough appearance. Handcrafted with Bayer Cajun technology. This tool is perfect for back pocket storage and disassemblies with the greatest of ease. From loosening lids on those stubborn pickle jars to removing the oil filter from your truck. <laughs> the Hootis has you covered. That's great. Oh. What in the world? <laughs> <laughs> that is some ingenuity right there. So it's a strap attached to a spark plug socket with a ratchet. <laughs> well, we're gonna have to show this pupper in action, that's for sure. Oh yeah. Well, thank you so much, guys. We feel extremely spoiled, and I am just in love with everything. Thanks again, guys, and make sure y'all go check out Cajun Country's channel so you can see what we sent to them. All right, bye. Bye. And get in that car. There you go. Leave a little note and we'll drive real far. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty.